This is Math 99, Section 8.2, and we are going to start uh, multiplying and dividing these rational expressions, these fractions. So let's start with what we know about multiplying fractions. Uh, when you multiply fractions, you can multiply straight across, like top times top, bottom times bottom, numerator and denominator. So doing this problem, I could go 15 times 9, get some big number, 21 times 25, get some big number on the bottom, and then try and reduce it from there. Or I could be a little pro proactive and do some of my reducing first. So since I'm multiplying these things together, um, this is going to be the same as 15 times 9 over 21 times 25. And what's great about that is I've got things all multiplied together. How about I factor and see what, um, see what drops out? So 15, I'm going to think of that as uh, 3 times 5. 9 is 3 times 3. In the bottom, uh, 21 is 7 times 3. And 25 is 5 times 5. So let's see. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 5 divided by 5 is 1. So notice what I'm left with is 3 times 3 over 7 times 5. I could write it that way, but since they're numbers, I'll multiply it out. 3 times 3 is 9. Uh, 7 times 5 is 35. There's my answer. So same sort of thinking on this next one. Um, I have all this multiplication going on. So I'm going to think about this 20. It's 4 times 5 not 4.5. Uh, 15 is 3 times 5. 6 is 2 times 3. 8 is 2 times 4. And notice that it's just multiplied all across. So I can just do my dividing. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 5 divided by 5 is 1. Oh my gosh, this whole thing is just 1. Everything divides out to 1 over 1, which is 1. All right, same sort of thinking with this next one. Um, 6 is 2 times 3. So let's see, 3 divided by 3, that's gone. Um, I have an x here, and I have another x here, which is x squared, which divides that out. I have an x cubed here. x squared times x is x cubed, so that divides that out. That leaves me a 2 times 2 in the numerator, so it's 4. All right, so let's take a peek at this next one. So I've got that 2x. I'll rewrite this one. Uh, I'm going to factor stuff. x squared minus 9, that's a difference of squares. So that's uh, x plus 3 times x minus 3. 6x squared is just 6x squared. Uh, x squared minus 7x plus 12. Things that multiply to 12 add to negative 7 or negative 4 and negative 3. All right, I have all these things multiplied together now, so I can just start to do some division. That divides out. 2 goes into 6, leaving me a 3 x goes into x squared, leaving me an x. So now I'm just going to kind of, uh, like I've said before, survey the wreckage, see what's left over. I've got an x plus 3 in the denominator. In the numerator, I've got a 3x times x minus 4. That's my answer. And I've, I've also emphasized this before, but this equal sign, um, I have lost some information here that x can't be 3. right? If x is 3, I'd be dividing by 0. So technically, um, if I wanted them to be equal, I would say x can't be 3. But this is sufficient for this course. All right, let's do some more of these. Uh, some more multiplication here. Got 9x squared. That's good. 3x squared. Uh, x squared minus 36. Notice my strategy is to factor everything and, um, and then do my reducing. So I'm going to factor everything. Difference of squares. Down here, things that multiply to 30 add to 11, uh, 5 and 6. And so now, let me start dividing out what I can divide out. x plus 6 divided by x plus 6 is 1. 3 goes into 9 3 times. x squared divided by x squared is 1. So what's left? In the numerator, I have 3 times x minus 6. In the denominator, I have x plus 5. Notice what, what we're saying is this original thing is equivalent to that, except when x is negative 6. So in other words, if, if x was 100, I could plug it into the top and evaluate it, or I could plug it into the bottom and evaluate it, and it'd be much simpler. This is in a simpler form. Let's take a look at this one. Uh, 6 minus 4x, 2x minus 12. So looking at this top here, I can factor out a 2 from there. So 2, 3 minus 2x. 
In the denominator, I can factor out a 2. 2 uh, x minus 6 times, let's see, this is x plus 4, x minus 4. Up here, things that multiply to negative 6, add to negative 5. Oh, negative 6 and 1. Let's see, 2's divide out, x minus 6 is divide out, and that's about it. So I can leave it in this, this factored form. I don't have to multiply it out. They're simplified with the exception of when x is equal to 6. Here's another one. Those are b's. Uh, it's tough to see that they're b's with my stiller handwriting. Uh, in the numerator here, I can factor out a b. The denominator here, things that multiply to negative 10 and add to 9 would be a positive 10 and negative 1. Difference of squares here, b plus 10, b minus 10. Factor out a b. Man, I think a lot of stuff is going to go here. Uh, so now, now notice everything's multiplied together. I can do my division. b plus 10 divided by b plus 10, b minus 1, b's. Ugh, everything cancels out, which gives me 1 over 1, which is 1. Notice that's not 0. That's, that's a 1. Uh, so this will always reduce to 1, except when b is 0, 10, <laughs> 1, or negative 10. But any other number, that would happen. If it was any of those values, it would be divided by 0, and you get an error. So let's think a little bit then about division. So dividing fractions. Um, when you divide fractions, I think you've seen before, you can multiply by the reciprocal of the thing you're dividing by. So uh, 2 thirds times 5 thirds. And notice nothing cancels here, so I've got 10 ninths. So again, Flip, uh, take the reciprocal of what you're dividing by, and multiply. I mean, that, that hopefully makes sense to you, like 10 divided by 1 half. You know, really that's asking how many halves are there in 10. And if you take 10 things and you cut them all in half, you'll have 20 pieces. So notice we could say that's the same as 10 times 2 over 1. All right, and sometimes when you're doing this, um, you can do the factoring in your head. So times the 6 minus 1 is going to go up here because I'm changing this to multiplication. Uh, this is difference of square, so I'm just going to write it factored down below here. Let's see, this goes. And now notice I've got that. That's something to um, pay attention to. If I factor a negative 1 out of, out of this, this is like negative 1 times x minus 6, right? Those signs change. So really, this divided by this is a negative 1. And I've got an x plus 9 in the denominator, so this would be negative 1 over x plus 9. Except when x is 6 or 9. Okay, a couple more examples like this. Whew! So 2m squared is already all multiplied together. In this denominator here, I can uh, factor out an m. Sometimes when you're doing these problems, uh, your, your m will turn into an x in your mind. It's OK. Just pay attention to it. OK, I'm going to flip it. So if I factor this denominator, things that multiply to negative 6 add to 1, uh, 3 and negative 2. And this, I could factor an 8m out of it. Okay, let's see what goes. m plus 3 divided by m plus 3. I've got an m times an m here. There's the m squared. I've got a 2 here, which goes into this 8 four times. And I think that's all that's left. m minus 2 over 4 times m minus 8. All right, there is that simplified version of that. Just a couple more examples here. And then, uh... all right, big old problem here. So let's do this. Factor this. Let's see. 3 times 3 is 9. Things that, uh, so 9 would be, uh, that multiplies to negative 8, negative 9 and 1. So I'm going to split this up into 3a squared minus 9a plus a minus 3. 
factor out a 3a. Three, uh, I've got that a minus 3, so factor out a 1. That's a tricky little move. Factor out the a minus 3, and I've got a minus 3 times 3a plus 1. And then difference of squares in the bottom, a plus 5, a minus 5 times. And I'm going to um, take the reciprocal and multiply. So things that multiply to 25 add to 10. Oh, 5 and 5. So a plus 5. And if I go to factor this, let's see, 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. Things that multiply to negative 15 and add to negative 14 are negative 15 and positive 1. Rewrite this as 3a squared. Split up that negative 14 into negative 15a plus a uh, minus 5. Here I can factor out a 3a from these first two terms. I've got that a minus 5, so I'll factor out a 1 from there just for form. And then I can factor out that a minus 5. I'll write it down here since I'm flipping it. Um, so a minus 5 multiplied by what's left, 3a plus 1. Uh, 3a plus 1, it gets divided out. a plus 5 gets divided out, leaving me a minus 3 over a minus 5. Man, just destruction everywhere. All right. Uh, with a lot of exceptions of stuff that I crossed out. Let's do another one. One more. Now this is, a, this is what's called a complex fraction. It's a fraction over a fraction, which is just division. So notice that if I call this top and this bottom, what I have here is just top divided by bottom. So we know how to do that. This, I'm going to erase a little bit here. This is the same as saying this thing. Oh, almost got all of it. Divided by this thing. <laughs> and I dropped the 5, okay. Wow, that was slick. Hey, if this show's getting too slick for you all, uh, just let me know. So let's see. If I factor everything, and then I could um, do my division. So, oh, and I need to flip this. So factor everything, flip this, do my division. So um, this one, 3 times 12 is 36. Things that multiply to 36 uh, but add to 7. Well, there aren't anything, so, so this thing is not factorable. This is uh, what it is. 4x plus 24, I can factor 4 out of that. Uh, 3x minus 14 minus 5. Ah, oh, we did this one earlier. Um, 3 times negative 5. Yeah, so we know what this factors to, just because we did it earlier. So this one's going to get flipped. So this would be a uh, 3x, uh, x minus 5, or 3x minus 1. And then this one, things that multiply to negative 30, add to 1 would be negative, uh, 6 and negative 5. So let's see. The x plus 6s will cancel. Uh, and that's it. So notice what I'm left with is that whole top times that x minus 5 over, I had a 4 left down here, and an x... Oh, x minus 5 goes. I missed that. Darn it. That's gone. 3x minus 1. All right, and there is a lovely mess for you. Uh, so go ahead, post any questions that you have. Um, give that uh, assignment set a try.